Building Open Source Eco Villages, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 451. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our November 14th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is building open source eco villages. Building open source eco villages is a pathway to a more sustainable planet. And we are creating all the open source tools and tutorials and resources and do-it-yourself instructions for eco villages. And that includes all the physical foundations as well as the emotional foundations of community. And what we define those as, or what we've identified those as, the major areas that we're focusing on are what we call highest good approaches to food, energy, and housing. That's the physical foundations, which pretty much everybody is familiar with. And we're combining those with the emotional foundations, which we have called highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, and highest good approaches to truer stewardship. Putting all that together to create an evolution of sustainability and to demonstrate a way of life that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And how is that possible? Well, because people have more free time to do the things that they want, more things to do with those free that free time, more access to the toys and goodies that people like to play with, and uh, all of it within walking distance. So reducing the cost of living, uh, bringing people together with like mind and common goals to work together in cooperation and collaboration instead of competition and demonstrating just the radical improvement in efficiency and effectiveness of cooperation and collaboration over the everyone for themselves paradigm that is predominant right now. And so the benefits of community. That's it, you know, showing what it looks like to live in community and cooperation, and collaboration, and also open sourcing and free sharing it also for people that look at that and go, I don't want to live with a bunch of the people, I just want to do my own thing. That is absolutely fine too. We're building open source eco villages and all the plans for that, but all of the com components are also being designed to be replicated as individual components as well. So for people that aren't community people or don't want to be living in community and would just like to create something for themselves or for people that want to create a survival location or just want more resilience in their life, we're creating all these components for that as well. Now you could take something like the city center, which has, you know, an eco swimming pool in it and somebody could just build that eco swimming pool if they wanted to. You, know, you could take the one community open source education program and you could build a, a community-based home schooling program using that education program as an example. Or you could take the, you know, a component of the Earthbag Village and just build yourself a guest house or a playroom or something like that out of Earthbag construction as an example. So our idea of building open source eco villages is not just to provide eco villages as teacher demonstration hubs constructed around the world, working together to create even more open source content and free short shared plans and tutorials and teaching other people how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well, but also to open source and free share all the individual components so that there's something there for everybody. And so we're a nonprofit organization. We are a 100% volunteer organization, including myself. We're a non-governmental organization, and we're creating this because we we see a sustainable planet within our lifetime, and we want to live this way, and we want to make it accessible to anybody else that would like to live this way as well. And so our goal, our ultimate goal in building open source eco villages is to make them easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate them as attractive enough so that the idea can become viral and spread on its own. And that's, that's the self-replicating component. If we can make these self-replicating, and one community can inspire two more communities the next year. And us working with those two communities could inspire four more communities the next year. And then eight, and then 16, and then 32. That self-replicating process, we could include the entire human organism 
within 30 years, but we don't need to achieve that. You know, naturally, some communities will fail, and then you'll have community refugees that will be looking for other communities that they want to join, taking what they learn and saying, oh, that wasn't my, my value system. Where can I go instead? And so by creating this diversity of communities, we can create places for community people to go until they find their perfect fit. And one community is designed to be the initial prototype for that and demonstrated and designed in such a way so that people could enter in, try out what it is that we're creating, and even if they didn't like it, they could leave and still, if they stayed long enough, have a home within the environment that would be a rental property managed by us as, a, as an income stream for them, as an example. And this is just one model. And the more fun we're having, the more ecotourism will come to support what it is that we're doing to generate enough revenue to continue to expand indefinitely and hopefully eventually to be able to hope, help other communities fund other communities as well. So this is our idea for building open source eco villages and how to get people that are passionate about world change and believe in open source like we do and believe in sustainability like we do together in real space so that we can take everything that we're doing to the next level. So we can level up this whole creative process that we've been in for the last decade as we build it and we shoot the video and we create the additional tutorials and details that can really only be done effectively as we're constructing. We answer all the questions, we make the mistakes, we share our solutions to those mistakes. You know, we get the plans permitted, we share how we got those plans permitted, we buy all the materials and everything and we log all the hours that it takes to build everything and we share all that so that people know exactly how much is it gonna cost, exactly how many hours is it gonna take, what kind of problems can I expect and how do I overcome those problems this is the stuff that we're solving and so right now we're planning it all out so that we can address as many problems and challenges as we can beforehand so that the things that we don't even know we don't know we have the time for addressing in the future and all of our open source website and tutorials and all that stuff is designed so we can start inserting the videos and other details that will happen time-lapse photography and stuff like that as we construct all these things to make it even better so Building open source eco villages, this is what we're doing. Food, energy, housing, education, economics, fulfilled living practices, which is highest good society, uh, true earth stewardship, putting all together as an, as, a, as an evolution of sustainability and open sourcing and free sharing it to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so the idea will spread its own and so we can create a sustainable civilization, a sustainable planet within our lifetime and create a place where anybody places where anybody who wants to be in community and live a life of cooperation and collaboration instead of the everyone for themselves paradigm that most people are living right now so that those people have a place to do that. And so we can redefine living as sustainable, ultra sustainable with more free time and more things to do with that time for the people that desire that and invite more and more people to participate and become a part of it. Reach that tipping point that tipping point so that we can say that we have positively and permanently impacted the lives of everyone and everything on this planet in some way. So that we've shifted to a sustainable civilization. This is what we see as the solution to everything simultaneously. War, poverty, crime, homelessness, lack of energy infrastructure, you know, lack of uh, food, food insecurity in general, lack of food, starvation, you know, building sustainable infrastructure and not just, just giving resources where they're needed, but teaching people how to create true sustainability, teaching a person to fish rather than giving them a fish and teaching them not only that, but teaching them how to teach other people how to fish as well. So teacher demonstration hubs designed to create additional teacher demonstration hubs spreading across the planet as a viral global cooperative and collaborative of open source eco villages working together. This is how we're building open source eco villages. This is what we're up to. So stick around for a couple more minutes. If you'd like to see bullet points and all the major components of our project, visit our helping page if you'd like to help. Uh, like and subscribe if you'd like to support us in the easiest way possible. And uh, yeah, till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, 
scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to High is Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a High is Good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.